Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'm going to be showing you what we received in the new Sophie and Toffee Disney subscription box which is themed The Little Mermaid as well as show you how to make Ursula's shell that lights up. If you would like to know more about these Disney craft subscription boxes, I'll leave some details down in the description box for you to check out. So in the Little Mermaid box, we received an Ursula's shell necklace mold, an Ariel's dingle hopper hair mold, epoxy resin with a one-to-one -one ratio, UV resin, rose scented UV gel, an assortment of the Little Mermaid bezel charms, Little Mermaid design film, mermaid themed glitter, iridescent glitter flakes, five colors of pigment powder, plus an accessory set that includes a necklace and an LED light. So to begin making my shell necklace, I firstly took the shell silicon mold as well as the pigment colors that I wanted to use. I decided that I wanted this design to be fairly simplistic so that it wouldn't take away too much detail from the LED light when the shell is lit up. I ended up using the pigment powders inspired by the colors on the mermaid box because I thought they were really pretty and that they would blend nicely together. So here I've got the shell mold and I'm just using a paintbrush to dust in the pigment powders and I'm trying to create a bit of a gradient and blend them together as I go. Once that was done I then took the UV resin and I put some into this little silicon cup that I had because I'm going to be mixing in some of the white pearly pigment powder as well as some of the iridescent flakes. I'll have to admit that the silicon cup that I used probably wasn't the best choice to mix my resin in because it was very flexible and my resin was quite tacky. Uh, that's because it's winter here in Australia at the moment and it's very cold. If you ever do find that your resin is very tacky and thick and gloopy, you can actually soak the bottle in some warm water first and that will make the resin nice and runny and easy to work with. Next, I join the two parts of the shell together and then I'm gonna be taking some rubber bands and I'm wrapping these around the mold and this will help keep it together while I pour in the resin. Then I just took my silicon cup and I poured the resin inside from the hole at the top. Once the mold was filled up and nearly all the way at the top, I took this extra piece that came in the box and I just popped this into the hole and this is going to create a little slot that the LED light will go into. Then because I am using UV resin, I needed to go ahead and cure it under a UV light. So here I'm using my UV lamp, but I did also go out and place it into the sun as well. Once it has been hardened, I then removed the rubber bands and I pulled the mold apart and this is what it currently looks like. I then had some excess resin around the edges, so I very carefully used my blade to scrape these off. I also ended up using some fine sandpaper to make it nice and smooth as well. Lastly, we just need to add in the LED light. So I added some UV resin into the hole and then I popped in the little LED light. You do wanna make sure that you don't push it too far down because it does need to be able to twist to be turned on. To secure the light in, I then harden the resin using my UV lamp. Finally, I took the jump ring and the necklace and I added the shell onto it. So this is what my finished shell necklace looks like. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I really enjoy that it is quite a simple design. To turn on the light, all you have to do is twist the top part of it and then it turns on and it looks really cool when you light it up because you can see all the glitter inside as well. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I will see you next time. Bye guys.